Hello, I'm Sandra, a health planner senior, and I'm here with Dr. Daniel Cohen from New York, a rheumatologist. They came here to us in Italy to undergo the neuridronic treatment for his CRPS type 2. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions just to, you know, so you can understand his uh, case, his CRPS, and how the treatment went this past week. So, do you want to tell us a bit about your CRPS history, how it started? I had two spinal neurosurgeries um, about a year apart and uh, the second one was an emergency uh, necessitated by a, a complication from the first and after the second one I awoke without the uh, radicular uh, sciatica type pain that had been disabling me, uh, but instead with a burning of both feet, which was initially mild in nature, but it has gradually increased in intensity over the last two years and become associated with both uh, a lot of temperature changes, vasomotor instability, color change of the feet and uh, allodynia, uh, otherwise known as causalgia, so that I could not even bear to have the covers of the bed to touch my feet. Uh, I tried in the States uh, 20 hyperbaric oxygen treatments of 90 minutes each six ketamine infusions um, once a week over a six week period uh, and um, also uh, eight uh, intravenous gamma globulin infusions over a period of eight weeks without any lasting response. I also tried um, uh, prolotherapy uh, and uh, pulsatile um, radio frequency nerve ablation of the tibial and sural nerves of both feet because the tibial nerve and sural nerve dermatomes were those mostly involved. Uh, I also tried gabapentin, um, duloxetine, and nortriptyline, none of which uh, could I tolerate or had any dramatic effect on the condition. So I began to do um, uh, research uh, looking for some positive results somewhere in the world for the condition which I only towards the last year was realizing actually was CRPS as it became more inflammatory looking and there was more swelling and erythema uh, and I uh, began to read about uh, the drug uh, neridronate or nerixia. And then uh, I um, found contact information on the, uh, the on the internet for Sandra's program, and I contacted her by email and then subsequently by telephone. Yeah, we spoke, yeah. Uh, so now uh, I made arrangements to come to uh, uh, Italy uh, to a medical hotel to receive the um, uh, four Nerixia infusions, uh, each one 100 milligrams over 
approximately an hour and a half, two hours, I think. Yeah. And uh, I took the first two, and then uh, d there was a day off in between, and the second two, and uh, there were no ill effects at all. I, n I didn't notice any uh, any untoward effects of the infusions. Now my challenge is to wait and see the effect on the um, allodynia especially that I'm experiencing and um, hoping that it happens sooner rather than later. Since you have seen different CRPS patients in your prior practice and also because you're undergone the treatment, is it something that you will advise to, to possible future, future patients for us? Or? Well, I, I certainly would advise the patients to try it. But I think uh, all too often the first thing that is suggested to patients with these kind of symptoms is to have a, a simulator implanted either on the uh, spinal canal or, or on the dorsal root ganglion uh, at the level of where the pain is coming from. And uh, that's a pretty drastic first resort and probably should instead be a last resort. Um, uh, it, it remains to be seen whether a patient needs to try many different modalities and find the right one for themselves or whether there is only one single right uh, modality for all the cases and that would be uh, neridronate if, if there was one. So. Um, those patients who have the ability to travel to Italy to, to get this kind of treatment should, should definitely be aware of it and should give it serious consideration. Um, and um, I, I pray that it is the one and only uh, cure and that it will um, be that for my own case. And how are you feeling now compared to, let's say, at the beginning of the treatment? Have you seen any small changes? Um, just less uh, redness, less erythema of, uh, of the feet. Um, there's still a lot of allodynia at night. I was saying, have you seen any type of changes from the beginning of the of the infusions to now? Let's say a week after that. The only in the in the appearance of my feet, there's less erythema, even when there is a lot of pain and allodynia. There's less erythema and swelling of causalgia at night that, that's very bothersome that I've been managing by putting a local anesthetic on to my foot topically, topically applied. What about your walking? Have you seen that you can do a longer distance, a bit more compared to before or something like that? Uh, the only thing that holds me back from doing anything really is the, the amount of pain. So it's more a matter of, of uh, how much pain I'm willing to put up with, how far I can walk. But I would like to have a situation where I didn't even have to consider that yeah. any longer and I haven't yeah. reached that yet. And I want to ask you a bit about our organization, what have you thought about us as a company, me as a companion in this case, that was with you during the treatment? Well, nobody in the States, including all the leading pain management doctors in New York City, knew anything about the program 
or Narendra um, uh, or if they did know about it, none of them mentioned anything about it to me. Even though I saw the leading pain management specialists from Cornell Weill, uh, from uh, the Columbia Presbyterian, uh, or the New York Presbyterian now, Neuro Neurological Institute, uh, and the Hospital for Special Surgery in Manhattan. So, and also, uh, Some private, a couple of private practitioners in pain management who have a very high reputations in their life. So um, uh, it's a, it's something that you find out yourself at the present time through uh, research uh, on the internet. That's the only way you're gonna. Uh, or by hearing testimonials from yeah. somebody like me, that's the only way you're going to get uh, get the information. And during this past week, how have you seen our organization these days, like with going to the clinic, going back to the hotel? Um, the, the, you've, uh, everybody's been concerned with uh, my welfare from every angle. And it's been made as comfortable as possible for me in every respect. And uh, the infusions themselves produced uh, zero untoward effects. So um, it's, it's certainly nothing to be frightened of. Well, we got to meet our CEO, Claudio Pacanaro, my colleague Ivana, his wife as well, and because we went together to dinner last week, we had a great time. And what did you think about us, about him, about my, my work with you? The sincerity uh, with which you all are devoted towards um, uh, the development of this therapeutic program for a, a much needed um, and uh, terror a disease which much needs a remedy because of the terrible suffering that it causes uh, is, is, is impressive and it's comforting to, to the patient who's a visitor to uh, Italy. So, um, the patient has, has very little to lose and everything to gain by, by trying, by trying your uh, approach. And um, from what I understand, the, most of the results are good, are very good. Well, what do you think, uh, since you are in Verona right now, what do you think about the city, what do you think about Italy? Because you know that, I know that you've been here before. Uh, but... it's, Verona is a very charming, beautiful city. You can find even, even, a, even a tiny um, um, street corner that isn't uh, charming. Um, and antique and uh, and beautiful. Uh, the food here is is great, and uh, there are some top class hotels and top class restaurants, as well as uh, opera. Um, yeah. So there's things to keep you busy. Um, but if you were here just uh, with the objective to uh, treat a semi-disabling condition like CRPS, you may need to just, uh, just rest and be a spectator while you recuperate. 
Well, this was Dr. Daniel and this is Sandra and we wish you the best for now and we hope that this weekend will work for you. And yeah, bye bye.